All right. Shalom, shalom. This is Brother Ramawan coming to you with a lesson, with another lesson. All for the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. <clears throat> First and foremost, I want to give all the praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Ruka Hodash. Double honors, as always, goes to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who were well and taught us this truth and continue to do so. And peace, blessings, and salutations to the brothers out there that's pushing doing this work. In the name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. So it's going to be a quick hit. <clears throat> um, just came to me. Uh, yeah, because uh, I don't know if anybody you know really knows about this, but there's a, there's a thing, kind of a trend with uh, with the men of Israel, with Israelite men, I will say, not the men of Israel, Israelite men, uh, especially in uh, Babylon, man. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. And, um, yeah, it's called Passport Bros. And basically, you've got a lot of um, the men of our nation fleeing, uh, fleeing Babylon to go to other countries to find wives. Right? Because, what? Because they've finally realized, you know, that they've been de de dealing with these wicked Israelite women, man, who don't respect you, mock you, you know, a lot of them, are, they're out of pocket, act the way they're acting, you know, they, you know the whorish behavior and just, they're crazy, man. You have to take my word for it, you can see it all on the internet, you go on World Star, that's all you ever see on there, is uh, <coughs> our women making a fool of themselves, man. You know, twerking up the place in restaurants, you know, fighting in the streets, you know, trying to fight with men, you know, committing adultery, getting caught committing adultery, you know, just follow it, you know, get following after the ways of these other heathen women, man. You know, so it's no surprise that um, these men are up and, you know, packing their bags and getting the hell out of Dodge, man. You know, they're trying to seek, you know, that that um, that submissive help meet, as what the scriptures um, say a woman is, man. I'll see if I can get that one. I can't remember where it is, but <clears throat> anyway, it's not going to be like I said. It's going to be just a quick hit anyway, so I don't need to dwell too much on this. You know, it's not like it's not prophecy or anything. It's just uh. You know, it's just basically showing you the state of our people as a nation and the, and the state of our women, man. And that's not all of our women, man. I'm just gonna put that out there. You know, we're not in the we're not in the habit of the great millstone of of uh, propping up, um, you know, our, our women on a pedestal or anything like that, man. But we gotta keep it real, man. It's not every. It's not all of our women. There are some of our women that are trying to uh, fall in line with the scriptures, man. And the order of things, all right. So I'm just gonna put that one out there. So anyway, let's get into the scriptures, man. So this is Ecclesiasticus or Sirach in the Apocrypha, uh, chapter forty-two, <clears throat> verse eleven. It says, "Keep a sure watch over a shameless daughter, lest she make thee a laughing stock to thine enemies." And that's precisely, um, and that's what's going on right now, man. Our women are looking like demons out here. And so much so that the men of our nation are fleeing to go and get uh, better suited wives. And not only that, now you've got the other the, the women of the other nations are mocking this man. They're seeing it and they under and they see why and they know why. <coughs> right? They know why. They know that our women are just like monsters, man. Alright? They're like monsters. You know, they can't be controlled, can't be told, can't be spoken to, you know. The only person they respect is Esau, man. They listen to Esau all day. And, you know, on the flip side of what, you know, the so-called passport bros are doing, you got these um these so-called black women out there calling themselves divestors, hooking up with, you know, hooking up with, um 
These Edomite men, man. Right? <coughs> I will get scripture quickly on that. Let me just um, continue on. It says, um, and, and a byword in the city and a reproach among the people. And, the, and they are bywords, man. Why do they call them hood rats? You know, um, what else do they call them? There's other names that they call them, man. That can't quite explain to my mind, but, <coughs> um, you know. There's 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 names you know that you know that they that are, they are mocked with man by words. He says and a reproach among the people and make these ashamed before the multitude yeah, because they are shameful man. You know. Then you know they're nothing to be proud of the way in their in their actions man. Every time you you see something on social media with these women man they're, they're bending over. Or, you know, to uh, shaking their 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 ears, you know. You know, all they do is want to look good with the fake eyelashes and the fake hair and all, and all of that makeup and all of that stuff. You know, wanting high value men, but they're not do they don't have any, they, they don't bring anything to, into the situation. You know. <clears throat> it says, "Behold, not everybody's beauty." So, you know, don't get caught up in the in the looks of these women, man. Because a lot of it's a the majority of the time it's a facade anyway. Like I just said, they're wearing all the makeup and you know it's all it's witchcraft, man. Because it's all a lie. It's all it's all um, a, um an illusion to make you think other you know something else other than understanding the truth, man. <coughs> Because the Lord has taken away the beauty of our women anyway, man, in both senses, in the, in the order of that they're supposed to have and their, and their actual looks. That's why they have to wear these these you know, wigs, man. They peel off their wigs and they've got no hair, man. Well, they've got scabby heads. You know, poor um, uh, poor complexions, bad skin, all of this, you know, smelly, you know, don't want to go too hard on that, but smelly down, down, you know, down the nether regions. You know, the undercarriage, so to speak. Um, and she says, and sit not in the midst of women. <coughs> you know, what sort of man wants to be around women all the time like that anyway, man? What, are they, what, what is a woman, what, is, what are you going to gain from having conversations around women? Man? They, don't, they don't carry any wisdom. So you, you're going to be just sitting there. Because I've seen it. You know, I've seen that. And you just listen to the things they talk about and it's just nothingness. All right? Men can hold uh, reasonable conversations and debates about important things. Women don't really tend to do that. <coughs> and if they are, it's because they're in a man's space. Anyway, moving on. Verse 13 says, from, for from garments coming from moth, and from wicked and from women wickedness right so wickedness comes from look what you know we know we, we all know what happened at the beginning man you know uh you know the the woman going off and and bringing sin upon our people man uh what was i going to get uh, <coughs> like my brain is gone. Anyway, let me get something else whilst I'm thinking of that. What was it? Hold on. I can't think right now. If it comes to me, it comes to me. This is the order. <laughs> this is the order that they, they don't want to adhere to, man. And this is why these, these, these guys are stepping out. Because remember, we don't need we don't need the Israelite woman, man. You know, we should, realistically, we should, you know, according to scriptures, we should deal with our women and not with these other heathen women. Because why? They'll take us away from the truth, man. They'll bring us their doctrines of their nations, man. Their ways and their, their traditions. 
right? We're supposed to stick with our women, but our women are already lost to the to the ways of the heathen, man. And I'm not saying that I'm not promoting it. I'm just saying that realistically, look, look, to be real, we don't need our women to bring forth or to to continue our nation. We don't need to do that. It's all through the blood. It's all through the seed line. So these 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 men going over to whatever countries they're going to to seek wives. Right, the, the same wives that they seek, the children that they have will be Israelites. And their sons will be able to pass on the seed as well. So 1 Corinthians 11 and 3 says, But I would have you know that the head of every man is Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai, and the head of the woman is the man, and the head of Hamashiach is Yahweh. Right, so that's the order of things, man. And these women don't want to adhere to that. <coughs> they don't want to... um. You know they don't want to uh, submit to the to the law, man, to the rules, and to the and to the order, the natural order of things. You know it's quite clear. <coughs> so back here, it's quite clear that you know they're supposed to be subservient to us. That's why we are the stronger, and they are the weaker vessel. All right. What's it? <coughs> what am I doing here, Mark? Slacky, what am I doing? I'm meant to be Proverbs. Yeah, yeah, this is what I wanted to get. Because uh, what did we read just now? Um, Hold on, what did we just read? Hold on. Oh yeah, no, that's wasn't that's, that was the point. Slacky, that was the point. The point was, so I was talking about how the women are trying to play the same game, and they've been playing it, uh, you know, way before. You know, Jake's been doing this, and they they called divestors, man. Meaning that they they're trying to hook up with either Esau, man. They're hooking up with Edomites, man. They're hooking up with the very oppressor, man. they the our very oppressor that is oppressing the whole world, and um, but first and foremost, us as a people. And they're hooking up with him, man. They see him as the way out, the way they see him as the light, they, because <coughs> they seek power, and Esau's in the power seat. Right, Esau's in the power seat, man. So they're looking to 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 Esau to to get that good credit, to get that mortgage, to get that step up, man. That hypergamy, the hypergamy is when women are basically seeking to level up with a man. All right, and 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 really and truly, that's just the way they are. That's a natural thing for a woman to do. But the problem with that is that we don't we are not in the power seat, so we are losing. Against Esau for now, because he's running the show, man. So they're hooking up with Esau, and and what they don't understand is they're going to bring forth more Edomites, man. Proverbs eleven and twenty one says, "Though hand join in hand, the wicked shall not go unpunished, but the seed of the righteous shall be delivered." So the seeds that they're going to bring forth are seeds of the de of the the so called devil that the Bible speaks of, man. The Edomites, man, the deceivers, all right, the wicked, all right. Our seed is the seed of the righteous, man. Even the seed of, of, of the unrighteous of our people is still the seed of the righteous, man. Because the Lord is going to make a, he's going to, um, you know, renew our minds, man. Right? Bring us back and make us without sin in the kingdom. So we're all going to be straight. We're all going to be good, man. Alright? But the seed of the wicked, man. All they're going to do is bring forth... Um, uh, slaves for our for our future, man. For our future kingdom, that's all they're gonna do, man. All right, just tears. <coughs> right. Proverbs thirty one and three says. 
Give not thy strength unto women, nor thy ways to that which destroyeth kings. So they're starting to figure that out. These women are just, they'll destroy you, man. You know, they'll destroy you. And a lot, and other women are starting to, you know, work, work out the code, man. They know why. They know what they're doing wrong. Not enough of them, but they know. These women will destroy you if you allow them, man. That's why, listen, I'll say this. If you're in this truth and you haven't got a woman, don't seek one out, man. Yeah, it can be hard sometimes, especially if you're used to women or having a woman, I should say. But, you know, it's all part and parcel of this truth of ours, man. Stay away from them. You know, you'd have to give all your time up, and They'll take you away from this. They'll take you away from this truth, man. And that's how they destroy of kings, because we're kings, man. <clears throat> we're kings. Jumping down to 10 says, Who can find a virtuous woman for her price is far above rubies. Right? You can't find it, man. Even the ones that these men are going to search for, they're still not virtuous. They might have a better understanding because you gotta understand that other cultures away from the westernized world still understand and remember and are still taught how to deal with their men properly with respect, subservience, um, you know, submission. And that's the order of things at the end of the day. And this devil's taught... He's he's he you know he's, he's indoctrinated these women with this women's rights and with feminism into believing that they don't have to do any of that stuff, and they can just be like us. So basically, men are, are going out there seeking women, but they're just finding women that have the same attitudes that, or trying to carry the same attitudes that men have. Doesn't work. We don't want to deal with a woman that's like a man. We want to deal with a woman that is is submission submissive. Right, doesn't mean that she has has um. You know she's she's, you know not to the point where she's useless, man. All right, I want I want want a woman that has no, no no sense. There's a difference, man. Women don't have they are not gifted wisdom, but there's, you still have some common sense. You know you don't want a woman that you leaving your children and going out to work and you don't even know what she's doing or how she's looking after your children, man. She's got to be right. <coughs> and there's no virtuous women here, man. And it's and and how can they be when when with Esau's indoctrination? Just a couple more scriptures, man. I'm gonna close this one out. Uh, Isaiah 32 and 9 says, Rise up, ye women that are at ease. Hear my voice, ye careless daughters. Give ear unto my speech. Many days and years shall, shall ye be troubled. And it's, you know, they are at ease, man. They are at ease. Esau's tricked them into thinking they don't even need us. And it shows. That's why they're divesting now, and they've been doing that for some time. You know, who? What, uh, how many other nations do we know that say that they don't need the men of their nation? That's unheard of in the other nations, man. It's only our women that, that's that's the the mantra, you know, the narrative. The you know, I don't need no man. Well, we'll see. We'll see in Jacob's trouble, right? If you're going to need a man or not. Alright? It says, uh, Many days and years shall ye be troubled, ye careless women, for the vintage shall fail. The gathering shall not come. The vintage, man. The old, that old, them old days, man. Like the days you're enjoying now. They're going to fail. Uh, verse 11 says, Tremble ye women that are at ease. Be
be, tr be troubled, ye careless ones. Strip you and make you bear and gird sackcloth upon your loins. Right? Because it's, it's just about to hit the fan, man. And you're gonna, they're going to be lamenting, wishing that they had, you know, what is it? Wishing that they had um, husbands. Man. Let me get that scripture just come to my mind. Isaiah 4 and 1 says, And in that day, seven women shall take hold of one man, saying, We will eat our own bread and wear our own apparel. Only let us be called by thy name to take away our reproach. So they're going to want to um, have some a man to uh, be attached to, to be, um, you know, they're going to they're gonna want to be known to be with men or a certain man for protection. All right. And they want nothing from that man. Just that they'll just want the protection. They, they won't want your food. They won't even... You know, they, you know, it won't be of a sexual. It will just this. It will be an arrangement, man. It's like an arrangement, and they'll give up the. They'll give up. They'll give up the. You know what? In them days, man, they'll just about do anything in them days for protection, man. And I'm not saying you know anything into in regards of you know how you're supposed to what you're supposed to do in them times, man. That's just. Something that's going to happen, you know, if you get what I'm trying to say. But yeah, man, there's going to be tr troublesome times coming, man. These women are going to start to understand that they're not Wonder Woman. Like, you know, they're not Wonder Woman. They're not Captain uh, Marvel. They're not um, female Black Panther and all of this. You know, they're just, they're just going to come down to earth with a, with a bang and understand that they're not, you know, they're not the ones, man. You know, they don't have the power to... <coughs> Excuse me, to um, to overcome. You know what's about to come, if you get what I'm saying. Last scripture. <coughs> and I should have really brought this out earlier, but I had it down anyway. So I'm gonna get to it. I'm gonna get to it anyway. Actually, I'm going to do a couple more scriptures still. Uh, Amos 7 and 17 says, thus, uh, Therefore thus saith the Lord, thy wife shall be in harlot in the city. Right? I'm not going to read all of that. I just wanted to read that point. You know, that, all of these women, you know, they talk about body counts, man. Because these women have, have high body counts, meaning they have had too many, far too many relations. More than one is is too many. According to the scriptures, man. Alright. So you try and find a woman in this day and age that's had just what that's had no partners. Or no husband, I should say. I should really use the word husband. You can't you're not gonna find that, man. And that's that virtuous woman you know you're never gonna find. <coughs> Ecclesiastes, <coughs> Ecclesiastes or Sirach 25 and 16 says I had rather dwell with a lion and a dragon than to keep house with a wicked woman you see they're not having it man they don't want to live with these these crazy um, Israelite women man they, they, they've had enough they've had enough and like, let's not get it twisted, man. Esau paints out the, is the paints up the Israelite man to be worthless. But these other nations out there, they know that we're the strongest and the smartest. You know, they know that. Well, they know that we're the the, uh, the you know the epitome of of manhood, man. All right. <clears throat> Uh, 
Verse 21 says, Stumble not at the beauty of a woman and desire not her for her not for pleasure. Right? So, and a lot of these guys are even, um, what's the word? They're even, I uh, can't think of that word now. Well, basically, they're basically, a lot of guys are abstaining from sex just to stay away from these women, man. Eh? You know? Anyway, that'll be that. It's meant to be shorter than this, but hey, you know how it goes with the spirit, but Lord willing, this was edifying. And uh, yeah, give all praises on the glory to you, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakhach, Hodash. And uh, yeah, Shalom to the next one.